What's up guys? Finally got the A7R3. I've been using the A7R2 for a couple of years now. It has been an awesome full frame camera by Sony and this is finally here. So I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys. Uh, compliments of Adorama or Adorama. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. Um, so I patiently waited and Christmas and Hanukkah are not here yet, but I figured might as well just open it up a little bit early because I'm really excited and I know you guys are really excited to see what this camera's all about. So, you ready? Here we go. There's really no uh, easy way to do this. Sony A7R3. Hell yeah. Okay. Nothing else in here, just some packaging. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Uh huh. Alright. Just a bunch of pamphlets. Nothing too exciting. A cable, probably for charging. Okay. One of these straps, I have plenty of these. And what do we got here? Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is gonna be for our battery. All right, that's gonna be nice. And I don't know what that is. Ah, a USB 3.0 cable. Okay, so this is for faster data transfers. That's nice. Okay. And this has to be the camera itself. But before we get to that, there's the battery. Oh, this battery is so much larger than the previous battery. Can you... Can you grab one of those batteries from there? I want to show a comparison. Yeah, right there, right. perfect, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison. This one is from the A7R2, okay? And this one is from the A7R3. It's supposed to be 2.2 times larger, and is it larger in capacity? or larger in volume, eh, one or the other. But um, right off the bat, the old A7R2 battery is 1,220 uh, milliamps per hour, and then the new A7R3 battery is 2,280 milliamps per hour. Um, that's awesome, because like the iPhone, I'm an iPhone user, they're always saying that the battery's increasing in size, but then the phone's getting slimmer, so you're like, how the heck is that possible? But with this, you actually dramatically see a huge difference in size. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, now on to the big moment here, okay? Need like a little uh, drum roll. All right, A7R3, this is what I've been waiting for here. Wow. Okay, it already feels heavier than its predecessor. Wow. Whoo! <laughs> I just put a smile on my face. That is awesome. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so right off the bat, first reaction, it fits much nicer in my hand. That's awesome. Um, there's a lot more girth or depth to this handle, which DSLR users of Canon and Nikon, or the A-mount Sony A99 series, um, you will really appreciate this if you move over to the mirrorless setup, okay? Uh, wow, this is really nice. Okay, this is really great. Let me just have a moment here. Okay. Awesome. Wow, 
Okay. I don't want to swear, but this is fucking cool. Okay, so let me go over a couple cool things here. Um, number one, it has dual SD card slots. That is really nice. So if you're doing a photo shoot and for some reason one of your cards gets corrupted, you know, your little baby brother reformats it, um, you have a backup card to um, back up all the photos. Um, it's called redundancy. So you could do that or you can use that extra card slot for double the images if you have um, 264 gig cards in here. Now it becomes like 128 gig. So that's really nice. The battery is gonna be right here, twice as large, fantastic. This is a touch screen. How awesome is that? We've been using touch screens with our iPhones and our Samsungs and blah, blah, blah for a while now. So it's about time that Sony caught up to that. On the side here, um, just like before, you have your HDMI out and you have your headphone jack, okay, which is a little bit different than before and you also have a multi-link charging point and an SS charging point. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look up some of these things and figure out more in detail what they do. And then in this third slot um, you have a tethering input and then a place for your plug-in power. So like I'm recording this video right now with a shotgun mic made by Rode and you would plug that in right here. Um, I will say this, I wish that Sony didn't use these little flimsy doors because on the other side, they're not using the flimsy door anymore. That just pops open, which is really nice. A7R2 did not have that. Um, okay, so let's turn this sucker on and let's see if uh, I can show you a little bit of the camera itself. God, this battery is so much bigger. That's awesome. It's definitely heavier, guys. With this extra battery, it's definitely gonna be a little, a little bit heavier, so you might want to uh, start going to the gym, build some of those muscles. And... Yes. Okay. All right, so do I want it in English? Francais, Italiano, Espanol, Japanese, or Korean? I think I'll go with English. Okay, and I will set the area, date and time. I live in Los Angeles, which for some reason they say San Francisco, Tijuana, and I am not anywhere near Tijuana. Daylight savings on, date and time. What's the date today? Okay, we're gonna go with the sixth. <laughs> seventh. <clears throat> it's the seventh. Se it's December seventh. Do you know what time it is? It is three o three p.m. Three o three. Sweet. Okay. Month, date, year. Sure. All right, Sony. Ooh, I felt a little movement in there. Okay, as you can see, the battery is completely empty. <clears throat> I did purchase an additional battery. Um, can you hand me that box right there? Yeah. Thanks. So, I knew I was gonna need some accessories, so I did purchase an additional battery. I may end up needing another one. Uh, these aren't cheap. They cost about $80 per battery. Um, I purchased an additional Extreme Pro SD card. Um, this isn't the fastest one out, but from the um, testing I've seen of the A7R3, that its buffer speeds actually do even better than the A7R2 with an even crappier card. After Like one of the crappiest cards I've seen. So this is like, second best of the running and I feel like you have to have this it's a screen protector um, go right over this and it still allows for touchscreen functionality 
There's other guys out there like Jason Vong and Gary Fong that go over exactly how to use the new camera and um, I'm not going to go over all that stuff. I just wanted to show you what the camera looks like on the outside. Um, I'm going to do a field test in my next video and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the a7R2 and the a7R3. I would love for you guys to see all this stuff. Um, a few other things that I want to go over are that with the a7R3, they've made a few other um, adjustments and um, improvements. So I've heard that the resolution, while you're looking through the um, viewfinder, is um, way better than before. And I've also heard that while you're looking at the touch screen, the resolution is enhanced as well. Um, they did move the movie button right here. It used to be on the side and they now have this little joystick right here. So if you want to find your different focus points, um, you can move the joystick, which is really nice, or you can actually touch the screen and focus on who you want to focus on. Um, the uh, custom buttons, it looks like they've moved uh, C3 over here, and um, they just feel a little bit heftier. Um, everything just feels a little bit more solid. I know they used a magnesium alloy body in the previous chassis. I don't know if they're using the same one as before, but um, yeah, I mean, it, the A7R2 did feel really great too. So um, I'm going to continue using this with uh, the G Master lens setup. Uh, I've got the 85mm and I have the 16 to 35 Zeiss version, but um, I'm thinking about going back to either the 24 to 70 and um, I know this body is really going to handle it very well. So thank you all for watching. I look forward to showing you some test shots of the a7R 3 with off-camera flash, uh, with natural light, and then doing side-by-side by -side comparisons with the a7R 2 All right. Thank you guys very much for watching, and have a great day.